Hi folks, I'm back. I had to go to town today to buy some PVC PVC pipes so I could uh, uh, protect the Ethernet cable that I'm running over to the shop so I can set up my experiments over there. But uh, I wanted to show you a few things here that I, I got in town plus uh, an update on the uh, on the microwave kiln. I don't know if you can see this see this darkness around the outside of that there. That's came and see how dark it is on the inside. I just what I did was I took uh, uh, my uh, zinc chloride and I poured about an ounce inside of there and then I just rolled it like this and it, it absorbed into the side and after that absorbed I poured another ounce in and I did it again and poured another ounce in did it again and poured another ounce in did it again and it's it's uh, I've got it fairly saturated on there you can see it it's, uh, bleeding through the sides here and coming off there I may put another ounce or so in it now I didn't do the I didn't do the the lid you know it's actually the bottom but I did grind it down I ground that lip off around right there so now I got a nice beveled edge all the way down to this section here and it, it sets in there really nice so that should make a, a hell of a kiln right there and uh, then I, I took a paintbrush and went up around the edges of it here uh, so I just coated the inside of this but uh, it, it's definitely going to be a saturated after I put a couple more ounces in there it's amazing how much uh, zinc chloride does uh, that porous pot can absorb but and then I stopped at the thrift store and I, I found a couple of a little uh, covered um, glass one's glass and one's ceramic but uh, and this one is a little too tall to, to fit down in there with a lid on it but for stuff I want to put in there and uh, and cook with the I can do it with a lid off and, and it fits in there nice and this little uh, this little crock pot thing right here is nice and it goes in there all the way with a lid on it so I can do stuff that requires a lid and put that in there like that so anyway that's the the, the kiln is getting ready and I'll probably just, I looked uh, at the thrift store for an old microwave but they didn't have any there's another thrift store that was closed and I'll, I'll check that one the next time I go into town and uh, get a get another microwave for that but then while I was while I was shopping around though I was at tractor supply and I saw this zinc on the, on the shelf when I walked by this product here and it was only like three bucks or so so I, uh, I, I looked at it and it's uh, turns out it's a zinc phosphide so it's more phosphate ions in there and with with zinc in it so uh, this is going to be interesting to uh, to play around with and I there's quite a bit of it in there and then I also found um, this uh, rust dissolver gel and I, I know from from past ex uh, experience and stuff that a rust dissolver is phosphoric acid and so I, I looked at the ingredients on this and it's phosphoric acid and 2-propanol which is a form of alcohol uh, is what's in that so um, here's another product I can play around with and this was about the uh, 4.95 or something like that for I don't know how many ounces is in there eight ounces so and then I got one more product that I got at uh, Home Depot now this is a uh, it's made by Zenzer uh, and this is some great primer right there and uh, what's in this is uh, it's, shell it's shellac and alcohol with a uh, white pigment and guess what white pigment it is I mean this, this is going to be titanium dioxide basically and uh, shellac and uh, alcohol and I've played around with shellac before and which is an interesting substance itself because uh, it's produced by a bug called the lac bug and it's harvested uh, it's harvested uh, by hand uh, by a tribe of people in South America or Africa somewhere I don't remember where but uh, anyway they, they collect the nest of these lac bugs and extract it's a wax and, and it's fairly conductive and so um, I thought well I'll, I'll, I'll apply this uh, the alcohol evaporates out of it real quick so it dries fast and it makes a hell of a seal I, when I was uh, painting I did fire and water restoration and uh, 
and uh, you know if you, you could paint over charred wood with this stuff uh, just sand off the char and paint over it and, and it really saved a lot of money on uh, doing repairs for uh, for places I didn't have to replace you know the, the whole wall and things like that I just I just cleaned all the char off of it, sanded it now it down nice and smooth, sealed it with this, and then painted over and it looked like new work again. So anyway, uh, this is a, a great product here. I'm going to, uh, so I, I bought a quart of that to uh, play around with as a titanium uh, base. It'll make a hell of a, uh, a titanium seal. I don't know, I, but I'll play around with that. So anyway, those are the things that I got in town today. and. Uh, I just wanted to share share them with you, and uh, I'll have some more experiments to show you here uh, probably tomorrow. All right, thanks for watching. Oh, I wanted to. I also wanted to say that uh, I uploaded a, a video last night, uh, a, a carbon felt, uh, all carbon battery, and. Uh, the thumbnails that uh, I was given for that really sucked. So <laughs> I used the the final frame of the of the video for the for the thumbnail. But, uh, I wasn't happy with that. I tried uploading it today again, and it gave me the same damn thumbnails. So uh, I couldn't change that to to something that uh, was more attractive and, and might uh, draw some more attention. But so anyway, uh, but uh, uh, I would uh, watch that uh, video if you haven't, because uh, it's uh, really uh, the direction I'm going to go uh, with the research uh, for, I don't know, a while anyway, I don't know how long. So uh, but anyway, I just wanted to mention that too. Uh, check out that uh, video if you can. All right, thanks.